You guys blew up my mentions with this one. Y'all really want me to do it? I'll do it. I bought a lot of rhinestones. This is gonna be a long one, isn't it? First, we're saying goodbye to my brows. Hooray for my skin. I have never looked less attractive. I'm not gonna put on foundation because I think the rhinestones are gonna stick better to my skin. I'm gonna map out the eyes. I have a plan. I'm organized, okay? Am I gonna have enough black rhinestones? This is the wrong question to be asking when I look like this. Well, YOLO. I don't look like a skeleton. I look like a panda. I hated how it looked, so I redid it. I don't know how we got here. This is almost one hour into it. I'm really slow. I am regretting this decision. I'm gonna do the lenses now. I poke myself in the eye. Okay, that's done. Posting part two with applying the rhinestones and the finished look in 30 minutes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to me sticking random stuff on my face. This is part two. If you want to see part one, it's on my page. Let's get these bad boys on my face. I'm using the teeny tiny ones for these lines. I have my black glue. My skin is already like you're really doing this to me after all we've been through. Yes, I'm doing this too, girl. Why is this so annoying to do? <laughs> the mouth area is done. Now we're going here. Not liking a video that takes this long to make is actually illegal. These are so uncomfortable. It is now three hours and I'm almost done with the black. Done with the black part, let's do the face. I'm basically dunking glue all over my face. Oh my god. Oh god, my skin. All those skincare routines for nothing. Imagine realizing at this point that you've been using super glue the whole time. Wait, it. No, it's okay. Oh my god, I'm finally done. Going for the Tate look. Damn, honestly, it looks sick. <laughs> This is why you should never open your door for strangers. In 2013, a woman let her dog out to use the bathroom one more time before bed. After only a few minutes, she starts hearing scratching on her door, which is typically the sound her dog makes when he's ready to come in, but it just seemed way too soon for him to be done being outside. So she decides to look through the peephole to make sure it really is her dog, but what she sees is terrifying. A deranged looking man is right outside her door, staring intently at her door handle, waiting for it to turn open. As she's looking in horror, unable to do anything, he starts scratching at the door as hard as he can, never leaving his gaze from the door handle. She manages to stifle a scream, she backs away and realizes her dog is still outside. So she goes to the side window, but there's no sign of her dog, and so she goes back to the door to see if maybe the man's moved. He hasn't moved, his mouth is open, and he's staring directly at the peephole. Then he turns around and walks away. With the man gone, she discovers her dog unharmed. His leash had just been cut. But that means he had a knife. This, that was a whole event. Let's do it. It's gonna be a long day. First, eliminate the brow. This look is like asking for a breakout. How am I gonna get the glue off of my brow? I'll think about that later. First, I'm gonna do a sketch. So I already messed it up because I forgot the foundation. about this I hate it at the moment but we're gonna pull it together doing a black smoky eye on this side <laughs> I really thought I ate we're gonna pull it together I'm gonna do this now but go to part two because I'm out of time hello and welcome to part two of recreating this look starting off with pink oh no you just had to ruin it for all of us, didn't you? Desperately trying to blend the orange and pink together? Mm, good enough for now. Listen, this look was supposed to be so much easier. Honestly, the green is just not giving. Is it me? Why do you hate me? Let's just pretend that this is how the green is supposed to look. The skeleton's gonna save it, right? <laughs> right? The purple is really on my last nerve but let's just pretend like it's not here you don't see it 
I think this eye socket may be a little bit too big, but you know, what's done is done. I don't know how we got here, but we're here. Now we need the lashes. This is the current state of things. I'm gonna do the hair and finish it because I'm over this. <laughs> and I am done. Honestly, this took so long. At this point, I'm completely over it, but I think it looks good. It looks okay. Well, let me know what you think. And now I can start wondering how to take this off. Wish me luck! I don't know if you're supposed to put your contour on before the rest of your makeup or after the rest of your makeup, but it doesn't matter because men are stupid. So long as you look like a newborn baby, they are willing to mate with you. I'm poor. So I have this contour palette and this contour stick. I regret buying both, I must warn you. The transition from beginning to end might be startling. First things first, check your flesh. As you can see here, I have no flesh. Contouring is a very dangerous game. Once a man walked in on me while I was contouring, I had to pretend I was schizophrenic so he'd think that I was playing in cat shit and he'd leave me alone. It was a sad day. If the men find out we can shape shift, they're going to tell the church. Eliminate the nose. You can pretend that you have no nostrils. Men will be bewitched and hand over their wallets. When I first saw this, I knew I was gonna have to recreate it. Shout out to my talented girl. Let's do it. First, we're gonna eliminate the brows. Looking cray cray 10 seconds into the video. Doesn't look very good, but we're pushing through. I'm doing a little sketch here. I'm doing the checkers a little bigger because I, I have no patience. I don't know how you didn't go crazy doing this because it's so tedious and boring. Before I add the neon, I'm gonna put in the lenses. It's in. Now doing the neon checkers. I think we're making some progress. 7200 hours later. Now the other eye. I need to go to the grocery store looking like this. Or like FaceTime my mom would be proud. Almost done, but I have to change. I changed. Now the next stuff. I finally finished it. I really like it. Today, I'm going to be recreating this special effects look that I tried to do a few years ago. So I'm just sketching out with some water activated paint where I want the mouth to go. Now I'm just building up around the outline with cotton and liquid latex. Now I'm just painting the inside with some dark red paint. I just rolled a bunch of little cotton tubes and I'm going to start placing those like this. Now I'm going to take strips of tissue around the outside to kind of blend that in better. Now I'm going over that with my foundation. I'm going to add some bruising around the outside. Now I'm taking some fake blood on the inside. Here's the final look. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I need to try this right now. Hi. Why do I low-key look better with this filter on? First, the foundation. <laughs> this feels so weird. I mean, I look like this every morning. Snatched. Should I contour? I feel like it's not gonna look good, but I'm gonna do it. Ooh. I'm about to be the hottest alien in the galaxy, sis. What am I doing with these brows? I'm gonna try harder. This is one sharp alien brow. I feel like they're not matching. But okay, brows are sisters, not twins. I feel like this beautiful alien deserves a green eyeshadow look. Okay, now, now it's game time. Going in with the dark green. I'm getting really tempted to look at myself and just fix this. Okay, but this is low-key really hard. Adding some shimmer. Okay. 
I mean, you can't even deny that I'm a hot alien. Oh my god, girl, what? <laughs>